So I'm kind of logging this process as I go along this time. Um, for my screen, I'm going to be using a whiteboard instead of a paper this time. And I'm going to do this so I can track um, the fringes and how they change based on each um, shift of the movement of the mirror. So um, I'll be able to track how the fringes shift based on the movement of the mirror, back or forth, up or down, whatever it may be. And I'll track those movements using um, marker on the whiteboard. Um, so I've got my two prototypes here ready to go. And I've got my laser tied down to this wooden block that is double side taped to the board. And if I just turn this laser face down, then the button on this side, if I can, yep, right there, that button will get pushed down and the laser will go off. And that way I don't have to hold down the laser while I'm testing. So this is going to be the position of one of the mirrors. Oh yeah. And I've also marked the distance from the beam splitter for each of the mirrors. So here we have five centimeters, six centimeters, seven centimeters, etc. And then we're going to do some trials based on that. And then same thing over here. I'm going to do the same thing there. And then now we're going to use some Play-Doh and get our beam splitter slash microscope slide back down in the middle and we'll get to testing. All right. 